Hey guys, Lucy here with another reaction and today we've got a request from Bob for a double feature of John Williams. Uh, this is not my first time that I've reacted to his music and I absolutely love everything he does. Uh, he's absolute genius. Uh, his music is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm super excited to check some of his other music out. Thank you Bob for requesting this uh, and for supporting me. I really appreciate it. You guys smash that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Also check out my Patreon, link in the description for more content. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. Hey, let's go! It was already written, so I think that what I'm playing, which is a cadenza uh, with some of the themes, is, is all John. You know, where he actually, you know, used the music that was already there and made it something of his own, something a little more personal. The thing that we would hear has to do with the opening of the film, where there were contractual requirements to put the director's name, the photographer's name, the actor's name, all of this, five, six, seven minutes of screen time, which of course doesn't exist in the, in the Broadway show. Norman Jewison said, well, we have the idea we will have a fiddler on the roof like the Chagall painting. And we will see him. It won't be Chagall, but we will see the fiddler. And this, we will fiddle away for six minutes. Okay. So I have to. So I made a cadenza and a series of little variations, which mm -hmm. you do, and some some elaborations and so on. Another little mini cadenza at the end of this thing to accompany this stretch of film. I remember having a discussion with Norman Jewison, the director. Who can we get to play the violin? And I said, well, you know, I, Isaac Stern, I think he said, you think he would play? And I said, if you call him, I think he would agree to do it. Again, it's totally successful. It has the flavor of, of you know, the, uh, shall I say the Jewishness of, of the play, you know, of the music. So uh, it's, uh, again, it's one of those uh, things where you really are amazed at an ability of a composer, not just to write the notes, but to give the flavor to the notes, depending on what there is on the screen. Man, I love when they talk about the creative processes behind the music, how the music come to life. It's just so fascinating. Yeah, this is good. This sounds so good already. Mm. So playful. Oh my goodness! These are some quick fingers. This is so good. Damn. I like this. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. It's so good. I love that. Damn. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, well, check out the other one. I, I couldn't believe how authentic he got everything to sound. Uh, and, uh, and I said, John, wh wh where did it come from? And he said, well, he said, I had some practice with Fiddler on the Roof and so on, and, and everything just uh, came very naturally, and, and that's the way it sounds. When you were first approached to play for Schindler's List, did you give it a second thought? Did you agree at once, or did you say, I'm not sure I want to play for movie music? No, that never occurred to me because the in that particular case, the subject of the movie was so important to me and that I felt that I could contribute uh, simply by just knowing the history and feeling the history and indirectly actually being uh, a victim of that history.
beautiful it hurts. one that was super giddy and playful uh i really enjoyed that one and the second one oh my goodness gracious that absolutely killed me in the best way possible it was like just reached inside my chest and just squeezed my heart like how crazy is that the music can do that too it's insane yeah i love that thank you both for requesting these uh i really enjoyed them uh anything else you guys want me to react to let me know in the comments and i guess i'll see you soon bye